All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Good morning. And I hope it's going to be good morning, but it looks like the Abdul didn't want any morning to be good. Uh, I'm just looking at the news, and uh, as usual, this is the news stations of the scumbag liberals. A terror attack happened in Australia, and before even they knew the name of the guy who did the terror attack, the CNN was able to find out that this this is not a terrorist attack. This is a guy who have a mental issue. I mean, have you ever heard of a scumbag station more than this? How they knew that fast that this guy, I mean, what do you mean? There's two guys in the car and attacking the crowd, going over them and crossing the red line in purpose, and yet right away they were able to find that they are two poor Muslims who they are suffering from mental health issue. I mean, isn't it amazing how fast does CNN to analyze your health issue? They don't even know the names of the victims yet. They do not know where the guy is from, except that he is from Afghanistan. And yet the CNN was able to get us the clear answer about what's happening. It is a poor Abdul from Afghanistan who is suffering from a mental issue. I mean, what the problem with that? Don't you see that there is no problem? This guy is a poor guy. He is a victim himself. He is himself suffering from health issue what's wrong with you you see those media stations they sold you out to the devil imagine if a christian person let us say a religious christian he go over the crowd with his car do you think cnn they will say someone who have a mental health issue he did that no right away they will say to you a christian terrorist even though there's no such a thing how filthy how disgusting those stations this is why i ask people to be caught those stations don't watch them don't buy their tv station don't pay for cable because when you pay for cable you are supporting the real terrorists in USA who they are the media our media is sold out to the devil we remember within years how always this media stood up to defend the terrorist it doesn't matter where the, the terror attack happened right away this media stations right away they will go in, in on air immediately without even being hired for they are bought already and they will start defending the terrorist about what they did two people in the vehicle and both of them they have mental issue well all the muslims have mental issue are you an idiot or what can you find me one muslim who don't have a mental issue if they don't have mental issue they will not believe that there is a god who is a vagina vendor who will provide them vagina and he will make their penis endless and their wife will be one mile ass don't you think somebody believe in such a garbage he have a mental issue the purpose of this mental issue title is to give them excuse to clean your kids like you know yes they are muslims but those are not normal muslims they have mental issue how many how many muslim until now from those who did terrorist attack they are found to be suffering from mental issue in the cnn all of them they are seriously disgusting this is why i say to you you know when you subscribe to the cable i i encourage everybody i mean you you, you look you are wasting your money you are wasting your money you watch nothing in tv except making somebody rich you can watch even movies on youtube you do not need those cable channels you are you are making them rich look let me let them go imagine if everybody stop watching this channel no this channel will go bankrupt and they will close 
we are sick of them and they are disgusting no nothing wrong with watching TV you know watching TV there's you have to go with the news you have to see what's happening nothing wrong with watching movie too but you know you do not need those you know like for ten dollars you can get uh, 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 you know uh, unlimited uh, movie to watch who need this commercial and who need their you know and and the news always is available for you we do not need them and I believe in the coming future all those TV stations they will go bankrupt because people more and more everything is you know is based on the internet these days nobody need the uh, need the TV station for what what I, what I will watch in the, in the CNN stupidity lies scam what what I will have there nothing nothing to watch so we should all of us be caught even the ones who the people they think they are conservative they are not like Fox and News Fox and News you know the Muslim they own big portion of it there is no conservative media station like there is some Christian TV stations those are different but we are talking about the news stations all of them they are corrupt including Fox News uh, you know, I remember uh, when Obama was a president, Fox News every day is a question of Obama when he is going to attack Syria. And I ask myself, why Fox News is so insisting in attacking Syria? I mean, what the point of attacking Syria? The, the, the dictator, the Assad, he's a dictator, but all our friends in the Middle East are dictators, the one you call them friends. Isn't it the king of Jordan dictator? Isn't it the king of Saudi Arabia dictator? Isn't it the prince of uh, Emirat dictator? All of them, they are dictators. So why this guy who is fighting ISIS, we should attack him beside ISIS? All of them, they have an agenda. All of them, they are paid by the Saudi. You see, everybody, I just saw the news about the Prime Minister of Canada. Now I understand why he put a Muslim for the immigration as an immigration minister. Imagine the immigration is in control right now by a Muslim. But do you know why? Because this Muslim from the sect of Agha Khan, who is Agha Khan? We spoke about him a few days ago by accident when we spoke about the Ismaili. We found, I just saw in the news, that this Trudy idiot, he is spending his holiday for free in the palaces of Agha Khan. If the Canadian, they have dignity, they should strike in the street and they should take this idiot out right away. Obviously, this is a bribe. Why in the world somebody want to give a prime minister his palaces to spend his holiday there? Can't you see that this is a bribe? Can't you see that this guy is a corrupt, filthy idiot? Imagine I am a prime minister of Canada. Do I need, do I need somebody to give me a villa to sit in for vacation? I cannot afford my salary as a prime minister. I cannot afford me to rent a room or even a, a suite in the hotel in a decent place. Who in the world want to believe that this is what's just a friendship? And why the friendship is coming to you with, with such an, a, a, a gift like this when you are a prime minister? Why he did not offer you that before? All of them. They are corrupt. So you better watch. You better be careful. When you go for election, this is how naive the Western. The, the, the Western, they go and they find this guy. And maybe he is good looking. Oh, this guy is not good looking. I will vote for the good looking guy. He's stupid. And educated. I remember when Billy Clinton, he was going in election. A, a woman, she called the radio station. She said, I'm going to vote for Clinton because he's more handsome. This is the mentality and this is the stupidity we suffer from in the West. They are voting for a president who can destroy their country just because of a look, just a look. They don't even, they don't care for the qualification. They don't care education. They don't care for anything. Just the look. The same as they voted for Obama. They voted for Obama because he have a charisma. <laughs> have you ever heard of somebody is became a president because he have a charisma? Here we go. The charisma of Obama took you down to hell for eight years. It's early morning here for me, and actually I'm going to hit soon within 30 minutes to the airport. 
just I wanted to share this with you I have a long day to fly and I want to say thank you guys for being here and let us see how many terrorists they will attack our fellow Christians in Christmas and all of them they are suffering from mental health issue according to CNN I guarantee you that the coming 100 terror terrorist attack and the coming 1 million terrorist attack the CNN always they will say that they are suffering from mental issue I remember when the when the, the news they said there's a German guy he burned a, a refugee center how all the, the left media they start saying oh he is a fascist he is a Nazi he is a, from the followers of Hitler he is a, from the right wings he is he is and later we found out that the one who did it was not even a German it was a refugee a Muslim refugee and right away the same incident from fascist Nazi disgusting right wing right away the title changed to be a desperate Muslim tried to burn a refugee center you see how the title changed the same the same a crime when they thought it was a German he is a fascist he is a Nazi he is a Hitler follower he is from the right wing he is a scumbag he is a hateful he is Islamophobic he is he is he is and then when the police they announced that the one who did it was a refugee and he was a Muslim the title changed suddenly it became a desperate refugee Muslim refugee tried to burn a refugee center <laughs> I mean I believe it I believe it the same crime the same incident the same thing just to change the name of the one who did it and right away everything will turn upside down this is how filthy this is how bad they are and this is how they are in bed with the devil every station around you sky news is owned by the arab in case you do not know if you live in england sky news nothing about it you know open euro news especially the the arabic tv stations what they post there is not what you post for you there like in english it is totally imagine euro news they are they are they are posting when a palestinian he tried to attack a, a, a jew they say uh, uh, a palestinian was a, was a murdered by the israeli army a murder the israeli you know the all the news all the news is coming in one direction they are under the influence of the devil the money of the muslims is the one who is leading the news this is the truth and hardly to find somebody want to say to you the truth that the, the king is naked because who dare to speak against the king who is filthy who is the devil not even two minutes after the attack they were able to find out that he is but this guy is not even alone he have a guy with him the same story uh, uh, i remember the same attack happened in Mel melbourne i think it was uh, a few months ago exactly the same they said he ha he is suffering from mental issue obviously like obviously <laughs> obviously right away isn't it obvious well you know it's come back cnn don't you think that somebody going over a crowd anyway he have a mental issue I mean do you need to tell us but you are saying that because you don't want to make Islam look bad Islam is a religion for everyone is suffering from mental issue because only Islam praise people who kill a crowd just because they are not Muslims only Islam dance and get happy and excited because many innocent people get killed including women children's people they are going for the Christmas the same as what happened in Germany the same what happened in France the same what happened in Australia the same what happened in Sweden like right now in a, in a sweet in, in, in the Swedish cities they are they are striking against rape well good for you you invite those scumbags to your country and now you have rape with n president and number enjoy it bring more 
you need more from Afghanistan you need more from from those countries you need more because you are short of rapist this is how disgusting they are and this is how stupid they are they invite them to their country they open the door for them they feed them they grow the dog and then they wonder why the dog is biting them the dog is a dog you are bringing terrorists to your country you are inviting them you are welcoming them you are even you are giving them shelter you are paying for their food i guarantee you that those guys they never have a job i watch a documentary about a muslim guy who live in australia for more than i think 18 years he is getting assistance from the government he have four wives none of them is legal which means he's not married but he go around he is married to them as islamic you know marriage but none of them is registered which means each one each one of them is single mother and when you are a single mother you register your children you say i do not know the father then what happened the government will take a charge of the kids so every one of them his all his kids is paid by the government their housing their food their school everything and what he do for a living nothing he just go from house to house like a rooster opening their legs and making them have more babies this is what they do more than 18 years he never have a job he never did anything in his life government is paying from your tax so you invite them they start providing babies they don't go and do, do business they don't they don't have a job most of them and you spend your money on them and then later they will be ready for attacking you this is the truth now it is the fault of who the fault of those who take advantage of you or the fault of you letting them take advantage you think about it i want to say thank you guys for being here and i have to head the head the highway and uh, talk to you uh, i'm not sure if today i can do live podcast later because as i said uh, I have a long trip to go, uh, but I will try. If I can, I will. Depend in the internet speed and etc. where I'm going to be. Thank you very much. May the Lord bless you and see you soon again. And I hope in my way to the airport, we will not find a Muslim who have a health issue trying to go over the crowd. I hope so. Let us see. Thank you very much. Christ is Lord. Islam is the religion of everyone who have a mental issue. I mean to that and see you soon again.